Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on a white box, which is actually a subsidiary of in flight models, Singapore Airlines Airbus A350 900 ULR ultra long range aircraft bearing in their current livery scheme in a 1200 scale model. I pre ordered and purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles, and their website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, please allow me to share you some information about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about. Singapore Airlines is a Singapore based airline that was founded on May 1, 1947, under the incorporation of Malayan Airways Limited by the Ocean Steamship Company of Liverpool, the Strait Steamship Company of Singapore, and Imperial Airways, respectively. Then fast forward to September 16, 1963, the airline became Malaysian Airways Limited. Then fast forward to May 1, 1966, it became Malaysia Singapore Airlines. Now fast forward to September 30, 1972, when Malaysia Singapore Airlines decided to split up and become two separate entities, Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines System, which is known today as Malaysia Airlines due to the ongoing conflicts between the governments of Singapore and the governments of Malaysia on expanding into international markets. And as a result, Singapore Airlines officially commenced operations on the very next day on October 1st, 1972, and has been operating under the Singapore Airlines name ever since. Singapore Airlines is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore, whereas the corporate headquarters of Singapore Airlines is located at 25 Airline Road in Singapore, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of Singapore Changi Airport, which is located approximately 14 miles northeast of the Commercial Center District section of Changi, Singapore. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is currently ranked amongst the top 15 airlines in the world of aviation when measured in terms of revenue passengers kilometers flown, as well as the 10th largest operating airline in the world when measured in terms of the number of international passengers carried. As Singapore Airlines currently flies to 137 destinations in 32 countries across five inhabited continents from its primary hub at Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore with an operating fleet of 147 aircraft, which includes 59 Airbus A350-900s, in which 52 of those are the Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft variant, and the remaining seven of those are the Airbus A350-900ULR ultra-long-range aircraft variant, including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 147 aircraft that currently operates in the Singapore Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 81 more aircraft, which includes six more Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, as well as seven of the forthcoming Airbus A350F freighters. And those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is one of 11 airlines in the world of aviation, along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda, Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Japan Airlines, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Korean Air, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Lufthansa, based out of Cologne, Germany, and Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, to actually hold this prestigious honor of currently operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the International Airline Review Firm, Skytrack Magazine. And the Airbus destination code for Singapore Airlines for this particular aircraft is 94X. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box, and what you see is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the registration ship number, the aircraft type, the 1-200 scale model information as well as the item number information you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, nothing much back there except what you see there, the warning information as well as the item number information at the back of the box. All right, now you're looking at the top of the box and what you see is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, 
the registration ship number, the 1-200 scale model information, the aircraft type, as well as the item number information you see at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box, it's pretty much the same information at the top of the box I showed you earlier on, okay? All right, now you're looking at the nice little metal model stand that came with the model, and at the bottom of that model stand is the actual customized plaque, and what you see inside that customized plaque is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information inside that customized plaque. And then you come up this way, you see that thick little black pad in there? The sole purpose of that black pad is that pad not only protects your model, it also prevents you from being damaged or scratched when you decide to put your aircraft model into a particular model stand. Now you're looking at this plastic bag, what you see inside that plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model. Alright, now you're looking at this commemorative card that actually came with the model with the airline's billboard title, the airline's logo, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the item number, the aircraft type. The registration ship number, the Singapore flag decal, the stay-at-home decal right there as well. You can pause and read that if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about, plus all the details here at the front of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, plus the commemorative card that came with the model, as well as the gear replacements and placement doors inside that plastic bag there, along with the uh, two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors with no further ado everyone here is the actual model out of the packaging box let's check it out there it is the white box Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 ULR ultra long range aircraft in their current leader scheme in a 1-200 scale model all right Allow me to share you some information about the Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 ULR ultra long range aircraft and how it became a part of their fleet. Singapore Airlines officially became the actual launch customer as well as the official launch operator of this particular aircraft type variant, the Airbus A350-900 ULR, the ultra long range aircraft variant, as Singapore Airlines took delivery of its first of seven Airbus A350-900 ULRs the ultra-long-range jetliner aircraft variant that Singapore Airlines had placed orders for back on October 13, 2015 and received their very first Airbus A350-900 ULR ultra-long-range aircraft variant that bared the registration ship number 9V-SGA at a delivery ceremony that was actually held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility, which is located in Toulouse, France, on September 21, 2018 but wasn't officially handed over to Singapore Airlines until September 26, 2018, and took delivery of their 7th as well as their very last Airbus A350-900 ULR Ultra Long Range Aircraft variant, which bared the registration ship number 9V-SGG, which is this one you're looking at here, on December 14, 2018. Then made its actual debut 15 days later, and that's when the very first inaugural international flight for Singapore Airlines on this particular aircraft actually took place, which was on October 11, 2018, and that's when Singapore Airlines officially began utilizing this next generation aircraft type as it actually flew from Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore to Newark Liberty International Airport in Newark, New Jersey, as Singapore Airlines flight SQ. 22 non-stop replacing the carrier's Airbus A340-500 that was previously utilized on this particular route from 2004 to 2013 as the non-stop relaunch flight journey actually covered a total flying distance of approximately 9,000 nautical miles which equates to about 10,357 miles and with an approximately flying time of 18 and a half hours to 19 hours non-stop and that's dependent on the time of the year as well as the direction. It officially once again became the Singapore based carrier's longest nonstop flight in its route network as Singapore Airlines eventually claimed the title once again of operating the world's longest nonstop flight using this particular aircraft type as the carrier's entire fleet of Airbus A350 900 ULRs operates exclusively from the airline's main operating hub at Singapore Changi Airport. 
Singapore Airlines has ordered a total of 67 Airbus A350-900s to add to their fleet, in which seven of those are the Airbus A350-900ULR ultra-long-range aircraft variant, and at the time of this video review posting, all seven of their Airbus A350-900ULRs are currently operating in service, as this particular aircraft is exclusively utilized on their ultra-long-haul routes from Singapore to destinations such as New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco effectively, whereas the Singapore-based carrier is currently the world's only operator of this particular aircraft type variant. Now let's talk about the delivery scheme on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme for Singapore Airlines, as the logo type and the stripes actually underwent another livery scheme makeover in 2006, which saw the Singapore Airlines billboard title font was enlarged and moved towards the front of the fuselage, and the airline's bird logo on the tail fin of the aircraft was enlarged as well. And this has been the airline's signature livery look ever since 2006. So, with all that information out of the way about this particular aircraft type variant, and plus the livery scheme you see displayed on here as well. With no further ado, let's get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this particular aircraft model. Shall we? Let us begin and let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, port slash left side. We're going to start at the front where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear lights. I'll give you a better visual view of that detail later on in the review. And then there's the uh, landing gear door right there featuring the partial registration ship number on there, GG. See the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you. The radon nose cone, there's more uh, Peter tubes right there, as well as the uh, windshield wipers and the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the review as well. Please stay tuned for that part. But between the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door is actually called the Star Alliance decal, which is this decal you see displayed here. And Singapore Airlines joined the Star Alliance on April 1st, 2000, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as the five founding members. And then you see the Singapore Airlines billboard title right up there as well. And right below the windows is the Airbus A350-900 decal, which is this decal right here. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review post, Singapore Airlines currently operates the Airbus A350-900 in two variants. The Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft variant, which entered the Singapore Airlines fleet on March 2, 2016. And the Airbus A350-900ULR ultra-long-range aircraft variant, which entered the Singapore Airlines fleet on September 26, 2018. And at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is currently the world's largest operator of this aircraft type with 59 currently in service. All right, we have to send the aircraft and right above the windows and next to the Singapore Airlines billboard title is the actual Singapore flag decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And this particular flag decal actually represents the country where Singapore Airlines currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore. And then you get below the wings, you actually look at the outer landing bogey gears right here, which include the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. And then more importantly, you see the nice big massive engines right here featuring the engine cones right there. And these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900ULR ultra long range jetliner aircraft. Now we're gonna turn this aircraft model around. We're gonna actually see if the turbofan blade spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the uh, port slash left side, featuring the in strike slash air deflectors there. Now let's see if the fan blades spin here. Yes, they do, perfect. Then you see the inboard land light right there. It's painted down there, but it's all good. The triangle pan, three little dots right there, as well as the front vision view of the outer landing bogey gears includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard slash right side featuring the end strikes, air deflected there as well. And then the fan blade spin over here as well. Yes, perfect. And there's the inboard land light on this side of the aircraft as well as the front vision view of the outer bogey gears on the side of the aircraft which features the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear Door. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows. 
the windshield wipers, the, uh, the Peter tools right there, the radon nose cone, the nose gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the nose gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. Now you're looking at these wingtip devices on the side of the aircraft featuring the uh, rear navigation light right there next to the uh, winglet wingtip device. And these are the newly extended remodified blended winglet wingtip devices that are now installed on this particular aircraft. As these remodified extended blended winglets were also made from composite materials. And the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft resulting in saving fuel lowering noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. As Airbus decided to adapt, as well as combine, a slightly change of the wing twist with a taller as well as a different shade type winglet, which will enable a wider and more optimal span load pressure distribution of the wing to a wider one, which will also slow down the circular motion of the air around the wing of the aircraft, as these blended winglets also has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 to a maximum operating speed to, of Mach 0.89. The blended winglets for the Airbus A350 were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility, located in Wharton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. Now, I'm going to let you see the front of these um, blended winglets from the front view angle as well. Show you that right. See that? Awesome. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft and right inside that gold cheat line is the actual registration ship number, 9V-SGG, which is this registration ship number right there, as well as the uh, bulk bin door you see displayed there as well. Registration ship number 9V-SGG. This particular aircraft is actually the seventh and final Airbus A350-900 ULR ultra long-range jetliner aircraft that entered the Singapore Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on November 22, 2018 and was delivered to Singapore Airlines on December 14, 2018. All right. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the uh, Singapore Airlines logo, which is displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, which is displayed this right here. And the Singapore Airlines logo actually resembles that of a bird that's inspired by a silver crisp, which comes from the Keras, a dagger from Southeast Asia, prominently featured in the region's myth and folklore, and has been the airline's official logo ever since the airline's inception from the split of Malaysia-Singapore Airlines in 1972. And then there's the APU auxiliary power unit is also right here, as well as the two little strobe lights under there as well, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is, the Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 ULR ultra long range aircraft variant from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side. We're going to start at the front on this side here as well. See the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear lights, the landing gear doors featuring the partial registration ship number on that landing gear door, GG, Peter tube, static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, Peter tubes right there, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the star lines decal, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, and the Singapore flag decal. The, uh, the Airbus A350-900 decal, the front cargo container loading door, the inboard landing light, the um, Rolls-Royce Trans XWB turbofan type engines right here, as well as the um, side visual view of the outer landing bow gears on this side of the aircraft includes the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the newly extended remodified blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, featuring the green navigation light you see next to this extended uh, remodified blended winglet wingtip device. And you also see the front visual view of this wingtip device there as well, as you see there at a 31.9 degree sweep angle. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the rear ca cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's load displayed here on this tail fin of the aircraft as well. 
All right, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gear. So let's check the gears out now. Okay. It rolls pretty good, but the front nose gear is a little air of concern. Yeah. There you go. You got to care with that front nose gear, though, however. But it does tilt, and the front nose gear swivels there as well. So with no further ado, everyone, let's check out this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, where we're going to start at the front of the aircraft, where you see the front, um, the radon nose cone, the Peter tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Podscape hatch door, and then you come up this way, you see the uh, anti-collision beacon light, the Wi-Fi box antenna, a high frequency antenna, then you see the Singapore Airlines titles on both sides, as well as the Singapore flag decal. Then you slide up this way, another high frequency antenna, and that's the satellite communications antenna right there. Another high frequency antenna, as well as the uh, vertical stabilizer known as the tail fin, as well as the horizontal stabilizer feature, little black dot right there and there as well. Those little dots you see on the, hor the uh, horizontal stabilizer are actually called illuminator lights. And the sole purpose of those illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the engines and the wings. You see the engines right there? No wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron sports, what have you. The warning information. Fuel dump valve, as well as the Remodify extended blended winglet wing tip device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here. See the engines there. Now you're looking at the top of the wings. No wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Warning information, fuel dump valve, as well as the remodify extended blended winglet wing tip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you look at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail. We're going to start at the front. You see the radome nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, the front nose landing gear door, as well as the front nose landing gear. Then we slide up this way. A couple high frequency antennas, the hole where the stand goes in at, the anti-collision beacon light, a high frequency antenna there. I have no idea what that is. And the APU housing doors and the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears on this aircraft model. Tilt pretty good, perfect. The engines there, as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Registration ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the uh, extended blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here. The gears here, tilt perfect. The engines there, as well as the um, wings underneath, which includes the flap, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the remodified extended blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. Okay, since I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little metal model stand you're looking at there that I showed you earlier. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model stand on the plane on the model stand. All right, let's check it out. All right, fine, got this model on the stand, no problem, no hesitation. As you see it just being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model displayed on the stand. Now I'm going to let you check it out as it rotates in a clockwise rotation, starting with the port side of the aircraft. Looking at the tail cam angle. Now you're looking at the starboard side of the aircraft. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft. And back to the port side of the aircraft.
All right, before I take this model to stand, I got it at this angle for a reason, and the reason is, is the actual magnetic gears that came with the model. So I'm going to take them off and let you see what I'm talking about. Let's start at the front nose landing gear first. That's magnetic. You see that? The outer landing bogey gear is on the port side. That's magnetic, as well as the outer bogey gear here on the starboard side. That's magnetic as well. So, with all the gears off this model, I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this model in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears being displayed on the model stand. Now, you got one or two options on how you want to continue to display your model. If you want to continue to display it like this in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears, that's fine. You see this plastic bag with the gear replacement doors inside the two picks, featuring the two picks that I showed you earlier. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors as you substitute your gears while you display your model lights in flight mode slash gears up position. Or you can do like I do, keep it in the gear down position with the gears on there. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these gears back on this model and take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review. All right. All right, the seating configuration. Singapore Airlines has three configurate cabin layout versions that the airline actually uses on their Airbus A350-900s. However, on this particular Airbus A350-900ULR Ultra Long Range Jetliner Aircraft, which is the premium configurate cabin layout version, it seats 161 passengers in a two-class configurate cabin layout. All right, everyone, here's the actual breakdown from rows 10 to 29 which will be from here all the way right here. You have 67 business class seats in rows 31 to 42, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have additional 94 premium economy class seats, which brings the total 161 seats. And finally, and in addition to Newark, New Jersey, as the official inaugurated international flight destination on this particular aircraft type, Singapore Airlines currently employs this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft, the next generation Airbus A350-900ULR Ultra Long Range Jetliner Aircraft on routes from its main operating hub at Singapore Cheney Airport in Singapore to worldwide destinations such as Cape Town, South Africa, Jakarta, Indonesia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Los Angeles, California, New York, JFK, and San Francisco, California. Those are the routes. Oh, I meant to add some on here. Now, you want to know the difference between a 350-900XWB uh, and a 350-900ULR? It's simple. Number one, the additional fuel tank they put right here towards the forward section right here. And second of all, the extended remodified blended wing. That's the difference. Everything else is pretty much intact. Well, this will conclude this model review. I like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model, if you can find it. They threw this one under the radar. I had to snatch it up. So if you can snatch your hands up on it, please do so. Highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. And above all, please stay safe out here. Peace.